Welcome to Gumloop 101. In this lesson, we're going to cover the basics of flows. Now, you don't know what a flow is, and we're going to cover that first. But before we jump into Gumloop and start automating, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to build in this lesson and throughout the course. So we're going to put ourselves in the shoes of an AI conference organizer who wants to automate various workflows in that conference. Now, don't worry if this isn't exactly what you want to build. Everything you'll learn throughout this course will be applicable no matter what you want to automate in Gumloop. So for this lesson, our goal is to go ahead and generate this email for every attendee in our conference. Now, this email takes the user. It seems pretty easy to do. We have hello first name. And then we want to recommend three talks to this user based on their experience, based on their profile. So the flow we're going to go ahead and build in this lesson is to go ahead and grab that experience of that user from the web and then take the talks that are available in our conference, grab those two together, and have AI recommend three talks and generate this personalized email. So to do that, let's go ahead and jump into Gumloop. I'm here in Gumloop and let's build our first flow. Now flows are the series of steps, nodes in Gumloop talk that you want to execute for your automation. In our case, we want to start with the user's email, the attendee's email. So we're going to use an input node as our starting point. This will become clear why we do this in the next lesson. So I'm going to use max at gumloop.com. That's our CEO. We're going to use it to test our flow. I'm going to call this email. Now, what is the next step in our flow? We want to enrich this contact, get additional information about Max so we can personalize the email. We're going to kick the plus button. That is where all the nodes that are available, all the steps you could take in your automation. We're going to enrich contact. Now here, what do we, what can we do with this node? Now as a starting point input, we don't want the domain. I'm going to go ahead and use the email address and as output, I want the first name that's useful for our email and LinkedIn URL. That's perfect because that's where I can grab their experience. And that feels like the right thing to personalize an email. Now the email address right here comes from input, comes from step one. So to share information across nodes, these two step process, first you connect the nodes that makes the data available as we now see right here on the right. And we could bring that in to say, take that piece of data, that email into email address. And now our flow has two steps, takes the email, enriches the contact. We're not quite there at having the experience to personalize the email. So we're going to click plus, and now we're going to use the LinkedIn scraper node. Now there are a lot of nodes and we're going to explore a lot of them throughout this course, but encourage you to play around and understand how they work. So we're going to go ahead and scrape a profile, bring that under right here. Now, just like before, the input is the LinkedIn URL that comes from step two. So I'm going to bring that over like this. And I'm going to say, this is the LinkedIn URL. I want you to go get information about, about Max. And what I want to output, first name I already have, country isn't quite useful. Right here, we have work experiences. So now I have that as an output. Now, this feels like a good moment to test our flow. Let's see what the, this, outputs, I'm going to click run and it's going to execute every node in our flow. So we have the input in which contact and I can dig in by clicking here as input. We have the LinkedIn URL and as output, I have the work experience. Now this is perfect because I can take the talks and take this work experience and ask AI to recommend three. So let's go ahead and do that. Click our plus button. If I remove this search, you see at the top, we have all the different nodes that use AI. There are a lot of them, and we're going to explore quite a few during this course. Let's use this one right here, the Ask AI. This takes a prompt, we zoom in here, and a model, and returns its response. This is kind of like if you were playing around in ChatGPT or Claude, and we're manually asking it which talks it would recommend based on the user. Now, the value of doing that here in Gumloop is you can run it at scale. If you have 100 attendees, you'll be able to ask AI for each one based on their specific experience, what it would recommend. So let's try to build that out. So I'm going to say recommend three talks to this user 
based on their work experience. Now, I need to provide both the talks and the work experience so we can accomplish this task. I'm going to add in a little space, work experience, like that. Now, where does this come from? We have it right here in step three, so I can bring that over, connect those two nodes, bring in that value, that output here, and then I want to say talks to pick from. Now, I'm going to grab this from a Google Sheet. I'm just going to paste it for now. Uh, and then in future lesson, in the next lesson, in fact, we're going to go and bring that in dynamically from Google Sheets. So these are the talks it can pick from and based on this work experience. Just like before, let's go ahead and run this flow. Now, quick pro tip, we're going to resume so it doesn't execute all of the nodes. I'm going to tell it to resume from here. So it's just going to go to LinkedIn, grab the Ask AI, but it's also going to have the information from the previous run. And here we go. We see that we have the response. Let's dig in, see it a little bit better. Based on your extensive background in software engineering, it recommended three talks. That's amazing, but it's quite verbose. This is probably not what we want to put into the email. So let's go back into Ask AI and adjust the prompt a little bit. So I'm going to say, output in bullet list and only output the talks you recommend. No need to include your reasoning. Now let's go ahead and resume. It's only going to go ahead and run this specific flow or that specific step. And now we have as a response, the three talks it would recommend. Now this prompt, we've worked a little bit. You can also select the different model that you want this flow to use or this node. So here I'm using GPT 4.0, the default. But if your task is a little simpler, you can use a less advanced model like GPT 4.0 mini, and you have an option of selecting across various providers of models like Anthropic, Google, Perplexity, DeepSeek. And throughout this course, we'll use different options to explore the options. I also recommend you try them out as you're building out your flows. Let's keep the default. And now the final step of our flow is to go ahead and email or draft an email that we can send out to the user. So I'm going to go ahead and email. I'm going to use the Gmail so it's coming from me. Now let's configure this node. Now the body, I'm going to go ahead and paste in what we had uh, uh, as our email. Let's look at this template. Hi, first name. That's going to come from our second node, that enriched contact. So I can bring that in like that and drag that into right here. Adjust the spacing a little bit. Here we go. And now it's going to dynamically bring in the first name. And finally, we have the relevant talks. That's the response from the AI. So I can bring that over. Now note, you can connect multiple previous steps to one. So the outputs from previous steps. I'm going to go ahead and have my little bullet list right there. And now let's continue configuring the recipient. That's our input. That's our first step. So we're going to have to connect that one as well. We have three connections. Grab that over recipient and the subject is going to be static. I say three talks we would recommend like so. Now we've configured this node. We collapse that, organize it a little bit. Here we go. And now if I run this flow, it's going to do all of the steps, grab the email, enrich the contact, go to LinkedIn, ask AI to recommend three talks. And we're going to take all of that to fill our template in Gmail. And as you can see, we have our email ready to be sent to the user. Now that was the basics of Gumloop. We've explored what a flow is, explored what a node is, explored a few of them, like Enrich Contact, explored our first AI node, which was Ask AI, and then sent out an email. In the next lesson, we're going to make this real, right? We're not going to click run for every person who applies to our conference. We're going to go ahead and run this automatically based on our CRM, which will be a Google Sheet and explore how you can scale these workflows. I'll see you there.